here's five things you didn't know about swales. Ideally, you do not want a swale on an angle past 18 degrees. If your hill is too steep of an angle, it is very likely your swale will have a complete blowout. Mulching your swales with wood chip or chop and drop is the best way to rehabilitate the soil. We are constantly adding wood chip or chop and drop from all the different plants in the food forest on the swales. The dirt has gotten so much better over five years. It's, it's gone from an ungrowable dirt into a growable soil. You can see swales used all around the world, especially on the side of highways, in construction, all of the time, just to direct water. But you don't see anything planted on them. They're normally just shallow ditches. But as you can see, we have fruit trees planted all on our swales. We actually have a whole entire food forest. This is a very common practice with permaculture or natural culture is building swales for your food forest. Another thing is swales don't all have to be on contour. Our main food forest is all on contour, so it follows the line of the hill. And when one swale fills up with water, it then releases the water into the second swale. But we actually have 800 meters of non-contoured orchard swales. They do not have to be on contour. You can do them any way you want. It just depends on how you want to store and capture your water, or if you want to direct your water into a different area. And for our final thing you may not know, is swales do not all have to be massive like our ones. We have an extreme example of a swale here. As you can see, it's literally as high as me. But your swales can be dug by hand. You can use very small excavators to dig your swales, or shovel and picks. The reason we have our swales so large is we wanted to be able to drive our buggies and our machines through them. You can literally make any size swale you want, as large as you want to as small as you want. I hope you learned something new and we are also doing a swale building workshop soon. So if you have your PDC and you want to use it practically and learn the first steps of making your own food forest, which is normally building swales, we have a practical hands-on workshop that's coming up. So please book your tickets at Vast Harvest Permaculture. Thank you for watching.